Hi, my name's Cameron Beach and I'm the Toshiba DX and VRF product manager. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to clear the addresses and then readdress on the Toshiba SMMSU and SHRM Advanced systems. We can remove the exterior panel and electric can cover. This will reveal the internal PCBs as well as the communication and power terminals. We then need to locate the main interface PCB board. We can do this by locating the LED display along with the three yellow rotary dials. With the display and dials now located, we first need to clear any existing addresses. We can do this by placing the dials to 212. With the dials placed at 212, we expect to see add bus populate on the LED display. Now add bus is successfully populated, we now need to press and hold SW04. This is a small push to mate switch just above the rotary dials. Press and hold SW04 until you see ADR-CL populate on the display. Once ADR-CL populates, you can place the three rotary dials back to 111. The system will now reset. Once the system has completed its reset, the unit will display L08. This indicates the outdoor unit has no indoor addresses set. Once L08 appears, we can now do the readdress. By pressing SW06, which is also located above the rotary dials, we will see Auto1 appear. The system will now count from Auto1 to Auto9. This does not reflect how many indoor units are connected. Once complete, the system will show boot and initialize. If the auto addressing process has been successful, the system will display U1 dash dash dash. To check how many units have been connected, you can place the dials to 1, 4, 3. The quantity of indoor units will be displayed on the right hand side. Once confirmed, you can place the dials back to 1, 1, 1, and this is now the readdress process complete. Hopefully you found today's information useful. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.